Hey guys, what's up? For today's tutorial, we're going to learn on how to animate um, palm tree using GrowFX. Okay, so let's get started. So this palm tree is from Max Tree. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna hide this leaf and leaf stock and old stock, right? And then for the trunk, we're gonna add some animation to it just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, wind modifier in aftermesh modifiers. So we're going to add a wind object. So this one, right. And then we're going to create one. Okay. So as you can see, it's now applying to the trunk. Um, let's Change the fan size to 100. This one is just for the icon. Alright, so let's go again here. So let's rename this one as trunk so we don't get confused. And for this one, we we'll just add a slight movement to the trunk. So we're going to change the stiffness to 1000 and then change the wind to 30 so right now it's 300 so let's see how this one goes All right Let's just check to a preview. So yeah, there's a little bit of stat animation to it. Um, we're gonna add some parts of speed here, so around 50, and then 0.3. As you can see, there's more swaying back and forth there when we change when we set this up. I've already tested the settings so it won't take that long for the tutorial so I don't need to explain all the settings here but it's been tested so far so it's all good. Let's play it again. So now it's swaying back and forth for the trunk. All right. Now it's gonna add for the old stock. I think for the old stock we won't be there won't be um wind modifier here, so we'll add one on the leaf stock right here. So we're gonna copy this trunk uh the wind object and then name it to deep stock let's change the color the reason why we have different kinds of wind for every um, object here because I want to have a variation of the animation alright so let's gonna add so go to after mesh modifier and then add wind animation and then since we already copied that one from the trunk we'll pick this one wind object here right and then for the leaf stock we're gonna change it to seven for the wind speed and then this one will be 60 and for this one for the leaf stock in your effects we're going to change it to stiffness will be 50 all right that's already 50 and let's try the animation we'll leave it as it is
All right, so there's some slight movement there. Which what we're looking uh, looking for. I think we're good with this one. With a leaf stalk. So for all those um, beginners, for the keyframes, just go here and set it to custom and then 25 frames and set it to 0 to whatever frame you like. So most likely you'll go for 0 to 250 but for this tutorial we're just going to show it to 0 to 300 so we can preview more animation. All right. So now we're going to add the leaves, the leaf animation. So we'll duplicate this one again. And then leaf. All right, so we're going to the leaf again. And then after mesh modifier, we're going to add the wind animation and pick leaf. And for the leaf, uh, for the wind object for the leaf, we're going to change the parameters to 40. Right, a little bit stronger now. And then we'll leave this one as it is. Right, so if we go to preview this one, should be some animation going somewhere in the all, all the leaves if you look closely see so we're gonna make a preview now real time preview just do a close up alright so shift v if you click shift v for preview uh, animation preview and then 70 all right i think that will be fine and just go for standard now this won't take long because it's just a palm tree it doesn't have a lot of mesh around it Alright, so it's done. So now we have some animations on the stalk, some on the leaves. There. Alright, so we're gonna do a whole preview of the of the palm. Shift B again for the make preview. And then it's great. So yeah, I'm using Max Tree models for most of my um Gore effects and some from Gold Plants. So try to give them a visit on their website. They have pretty good models there. Just be wary about some models on, in Max Tree. They are using some meta mesh, so you can convert it to cylinder mesh, especially if you're use, uh, gonna use it for animation.
Alright, so I think we're pretty good with this animation. There's some swaying on the trunk a little bit, and then on the stalk, like slight breeze, and then some going back and forth with the leaves. So I think this one's good. Now we're going, I'm going to show you on how to convert this one to a Corona proxy for animation. Alright, so we're gonna add a point cache modifier. Okay. And then we're gonna save this one. So that's record is 0 to 300. And then we'll leave the others as it is, the settings. So we're gonna make a new one here, the point cache. Alright, so we're gonna click new. We're gonna save it as PC2. And then we'll just leave the, the name as it is. Alright, so we're gonna click uh, hit record. So what it'll do is it will record the 0 to 300 frames of the animation. Alright, as you can see here it's calculating. Shouldn't take a while. Hopefully, it won't crash. All right, it's done. So, so we have a new point cache now. If we go to here, you'll see this one. That file, that PC two file. It's around three hundred twenty nine. So. Just be wary about the file size of your point cache. If it, the longer the animation is, the bigger the point cache is. And also depends on the mesh. Alright, so next we're gonna convert, oh, we're gonna copy this one. And then we're gonna convert it to mesh. So what it does, it collapses all that grow effects. It's now a mesh, not a GrowFX file, so we can delete this one now. Alright, but there's no animation yet, so what we'll do is we'll paste that point cache. Okay, or you can just add a point cache. I'm just showing you, just in case you haven't pasted that one, so where's that one point cache? And then load, load that one up. So yeah, there you go. You got a palm tree mesh with a point cache and ready for conversion for a proxy, a Corona proxy and animated proxy. So the reason why we're converting this to a proxy because if we're going to use it in an animation flight to you need some a lot of proxy you, because it's going to be heavy if you use a mesh to duplicate this especially if you have a lot of palm tree to put on your scene okay so what we'll do next is we go to Corona Inverter Oh no, not this one um, The Proxy Converter Corona Proxy oh, No, wait, what was that? Uh, was it this one?
Oh, we need to open the script. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, this one. Forgot. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll be using the Corona Proxy Exporter. So, just export single. And then, actually, to this one. And then animated 0 to 300. Okay. And then we'll just leave the others as it is, or you can rename the proxy as you like. And then point cloud. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna click export selected object. So we're all set up. So I'm just going to pause this one and resume it when it's done. Alright, so it's done. Hopefully it's okay. Let's see. Full mesh. Not sure why it's turning into two box. Uh, Hmm. Maybe there's a problem during the during the process of converting it to a proxy. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not sure why it's turning to a box on the viewport, but I've tested a preview animation preview with twenty passes from 0 to 300 frames so it seems that it's okay when I rendered it out so let's play this one yeah it seems fine there's no um, there's no flickering or any glitch that's missing frame so I think I'm not sure what's happened there but so far the the animation object is fine the when we convert it to a corona proxy animated corona proxy so yeah if you have problems like this just try to render it um, and see if it's okay then that's fine for you to use it so that's all for this tutorial and thank you for watching and hope you'll subscribe to get more new tutorials Thank you.